This is a standard American plug. It uses uh, this uh, type of male end with the uh, flat blades and the round uh, ground. And yeah, this one's kind of different. Uh, this is clear and it's got some really heavy duty copper insides. It's supposed to uh, give less uh, RF noise for your stereo equipment. But uh, that's not what we're going to talk about today. I thought you might be interested in something I found in my electric box. And that is this thing. Uh, this, I believe, is Japanese style. I got it in Asia and I found it in one of my boxes. I brought it home. Uh, you can see that, you know, on the back side, it's very similar. It's got the uh, push-in type connectors. I also know that they came in, uh, they had the uh, lugs on them like this, but this one is the uh, push-in type. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, take it apart and see how they got it to work with the American style plugs, as well as the European pin styles. Um, yeah, these things, uh, as far as I can remember, any type of plug I came up with would work easily with these. Okay, so again, let's take it apart and uh, see how they did this on the insides. These are the clips that hold it closed. They're, they're not really substantial, but anyway, they're obviously doing the job. Uh, and back here are the uh, push-in type wire connectors and then a release right here. I thought I'd show that before I went on. And here's a, the broken out part of it. You can see that. It's, uh, you go in here and press to release. Okay, so let's start uh, popping these things off of here and see what they've got going on inside. Now I spoke too soon. They are a little more substantial than I thought. Okay, there's one. Other. A little more destructive than I thought I was going to have to be. Okay, hey, so they aren't messing around when they put this together. Let's see what we got. Okay, so that came apart rather nicely. Um, there's the front. And very substantial reinforcing. You can see the, the three holes for each plug. There's the ground and live neutral. Okay, let's back that out of there. And here are this arrangement. So instead of just having the, uh, the flat pins, like let's see if we can see this. Um, yeah, this is the uh, clips. They have uh, gone and made contacts here, here, and here. And so when we plug in, the uh, like the American style plug, it the round ground connects to this, and then the spades, flat spades, go in here. When you connect the round pins, they connect to those clips. So by a little bit of uh, clever engineering right there. They are capable of handling all of the all of the different types of pins. There are the there's the whole copper bus, if you will, for one side. And the copper bus for the other side. Okay, keep things centered. And then here we have the ground. So, yeah, not, uh, not very complex. 
we have the uh, release uh, springs here, 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 and there. That's for the ground. And then, of course, the uh, little plastic tabs that you push on to uh, release the wiring. So, yeah, uh, not terribly complex. I thought it was going to be a lot more to it than what we are what we uh, are seeing here. I thought there was going to be many pieces in here, but yeah, they've got this uh, simplified and they've got it figured out to use all the uh, different types of plugs that one finds in Asia. Okay, well, just a kind of a curiosity in case you've never seen one, thought you might like to. Okay, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching.